the mementos of the English martyrs and confessors for every day of the year by Henry Sebastian Bowden. May 28th, the snares of the Pharisees. Father Thomas Ford, 1582. He was a native of Devonshire, became fellow and president of Trinity College, Oxford, expressed there strongly his Catholic sympathies and led a spotless and zealous life. In 1570, he abjured Protestantism and entered Dewey. In 1576, he returned to England as a priest and after five years successful labor was seized with Father Campion at Dame Yates House, Lyford in Berkshire. His examination shows how by adroit casistry, the government hoped to represent the martyrs as political conspirators. Father Ford, however, declined to be entrapped. His answers may be summarized thus. 1. He could not reply as to the legality of the bull of Pius V against Elizabeth, as he was not privy to its circumstances. 2. The Pope has authority to dispose princes on certain occasions. When such a bull is published against Her Majesty, he will then answer as to the duty of her subjects. 3. As to the Pope's authorization of the Northern Rising, being a private subject, he cannot answer. 3. As to the Pope's authorization of the Northern Rising, being a private subject, he cannot answer. 4. Dr. Sanders and Bristow are learned men and must answer themselves as to the truth of their book. He himself cannot do so. The examination was, of course, a mere pretext, and Father Ford saw through the device and in no way committed himself. After much cruel treatment, his sentence of death was carried out Tyburn, May 28, 1582.